What I just saw is absolutely insane. There is this new demo of Figure 01 which can now have full conversations with people. It's a partnership between two orgs, OpenAI and Figure, where OpenAI is providing visual reasoning and language understanding through this humanoid bot. Now, it's actually getting quite scary. Like, literally. Just take a look at this demo video. Sorry for being repetitive, but this month we had insane partnerships with big companies giving out subscriptions to AI tools completely for free. These are tools that will streamline your business's growth and improve your efficiency. Just being a Patreon this past month, you were given access to six paid subscriptions completely for free. Not only do you access these subscriptions, but you gain the ability for consulting, networking, collaborating with the community, as well as with myself. You get access to daily AI news, resources, giveaways, and so much more. If you're interested, check out the Patreon link in the description below to gain access to these benefits. Now that was just absolutely incredible. This collaboration between OpenAI and Figure for this new model is absolutely pushing the boundaries of AI. Imagine what can be accomplished with this robot and I wonder when it will be actually released. Now throughout today's video, we're going to be taking a look at this new humanoid a little bit further in detail as we explore the functionalities of it. So with that thought guys, stay tuned and let's get straight to it. If you would like to book a one on one with me where you can access my consulting services, where I can help you grow your business or basically give you a lot of different types of solutions with AI, definitely take a look at the calendar link in the description below. Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video at the world of AI. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at figure further in detail as we explain how it basically functions. Now in that demo video, we saw that figure one was actually engaging in full conversations, which is something that we've never seen. It's able to have it so that it has the ability to provide sophisticated visual and language abilities where figures neural networks is able to facilitate an agile and precise robotic action based off of those functionalities that OpenAI provides. So every action is depicted and is learned autonomously. Now, rather than actually being controlled remotely, it operates at a regular speed and it's able to do it autonomously. So this robot's camera is able to capture the images as well as the speech from an onboard microphone and it's transcribed into text, both of which are fed into to this large multimodal model that has been trained by OpenAI. Now, what this model does is that it's able to comprehend both visual as well as textual inputs so that it can process the entire conversation history to generate spoken responses through the text-to-speech model that OpenAI actually provides. And you can see with this demo over here, which showcases it in this individual. So we can see that it starts off with, can I have something to eat? This is the speech-to-text, which is then sent over to the OpenAI model. This is where the common sense reasoning is used from images. It then responds back with short thing. And from here, it goes to the neural network policies. It goes then over to the whole body controller. And we can see that it then outputs this movement of giving something to eat. So it finds what is there to eat and it actually gives the apple to the human. And in this case, it goes back to the neural network policies and then it's able to output and do other tasks afterward. Now, Corey had basically said something really cool. And for the people that do not know, Corey actually works with Figure, and he stated this in his blog post about it. And he states that the same model is responsible for deciding which learned closed loop behavior to run on the robot to fulfill a given command, loading particular neural networks, which are weights on to the GPU and it executes a policy. And what this basically means is that the robot is deciding what actions to take based on the commands it actually receives. So it uses a special computer program, which is the model that they have integrated into this robot so that it can figure out which action it has learned and what will be best fit in that situation. So this program is also able to auto adjust itself so that it's able to make sure that the right information is to be used to carry out those actions. 
Now, something cool to note is that by connecting figure to large pre-trained multimodal models, it's able to gain a host of impressive new capabilities in collaboration with OpenAI. We, we were able to see this with figure one, and it can now not only describe its surroundings accurately, but it's also able to apply common sense reasoning to make informed decisions. This is similar to what AGI is capable of doing, such as predicting that the dirty dishes on the table should be moved to the drying rack. Now, it can also interpret vague as well as ambitious requests quite intelligently. It can even translate them into context appropriate actions. For instance, when you're offering an apple in this case, you're able to see that someone says that whenever they're hungry, it's able to offer that figure of apple. It's able to detect what food sources are close to it, and it's able to provide the apple to that person. Now, most notably, figure one is actually able to articulate the rational behind its actions in plain English. It's able to do it with other languages, but in this case, it does it quite well and exceptional with English. It's able to provide insights into the decision-making process, like explaining that it is choosing to offer an apple because it was only available on the food item. This integration of advanced language understanding as well as visual reasoning is able to significantly enhance figure one. Lastly, I want to discuss how the figure one model is able to learn to manipulate objects with both hands efficiently. This is where it's using neural networks and this is where it's using the transformer policies. It's able to translate what it sees into actions so that it can process images from its onboard cameras. There's basically cameras in its basic humanoid head and it's able to generate precise hand and wrist movements that are being processed based off of the images. Now, these actions act as quick targets, and this is for the overall body controller to follow. So this approach divides tasks quite effectively, where it's able to use the pre-trained models so that it can handle common sense reasoning. It's able to have the learned policies to execute plans swiftly. This is where it's able to tackle tasks like manipulating objects. In this case, we can see that it's able to pick up objects and place it in certain areas. And lastly, we can see that a separate whole body controller is being used to ensure safety and stability. This is where it's able to maintain the balance during actions. Now in conclusion, this is just quite amazing to see guys. We're getting closer and closer to AGI and I'm definitely gonna be keeping an eye out for what the project is gonna be evolving towards. We're gonna be making more videos on it. So definitely subscribe, stay tuned, and we're gonna be covering a little bit more about this in further uploads. If you guys haven't already, make sure you check out the Patreon page if you wanna access our private Discord. This is a great way for you to access AI tools completely for free on a monthly basis. Make sure you follow us on Twitter if you haven't already. This is a great way for you to stay up to date with the latest AI news. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video, and check out our previous videos so you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. But with that thought, guys, have an amazing day, spread positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.